One of the things about working at ILM is, is the a client never comes back with wanting exactly the same thing you did before. They're always asking for more, for pushing the envelope a bit. And, and so work that, that was just right at the limit of your abilities, that was just the hardest thing that we could tackle, uh, that's kind of taken for granted as the starting point. There's a lot of work involving ships at sea in this movie, and, and my goal is to always start from some live action, so we've got some grounding in reality that we can build from. In this case, we have the, the one real ocean-going vessel that we had available to us, which was the Black Pearl, and then we've added all the ships around it. You know, the hard part of this is all the water interaction, and we're getting that from the live action. Here's a case where we're combining the full live action deck of the Black Pearl on a giant hydraulic gimbal. It's the 24 foot long miniature. It's a live action water plate. They're all seamed together to be one nice seamless rig. This shot is a mixture of different scales and different techniques. The Black Pearl is live action from the plate. The Endeavor is the 16 foot long miniature. Uh, along with a whole series of pyro elements of the exploding bits of debris along the side of the ship done at a larger scale. And then the Flying Dutchman is all computer graphics. Normally the process of photographing an actor in front of a blue screen, you're trying to keep the blue as clean and even as you possibly can. But here we've got a case where we have all this rain, all this blowing mist and, and big splashes that are contaminating the color of the blue. So it's not a very pure blue anymore. And this makes it a much bigger challenge to be able to replace that background and put in the Maelstrom. Almost every shot in this sequence has a few of these guys in the gray suits. These are meant to be Davy Jones's crew. So they have to be tracked and replaced with computer graphics. You can see that, that sometimes these characters are behind other characters. They're behind rain, they're behind splashes. So this is difficult work to do. This whole scene that's up in the yard arms of the, of the Flying Dutchman, we had very little set and sometimes no set at all. So the entire Flying Dutchman here is all computer generated. You can do nothing without a key! I already have the key! No you don't. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that came.